guys, welcome to episode 5, Learn English with Dr. Sewell. So today we're going to talk a little bit about whether or if. Now, a lot of times we sometimes interchangeably use them. We use them in the wrong way or we believe, some of us, we believe that we can use if or whether in any situation. That's actually incorrect. So let's look at why or how we should use them correctly. So the first rule is we use if when we have a conditional. Now what does that mean, conditional? So for example, I could say, if I win the lottery, I'll buy an island. Now the condition is winning the lottery. So if I win the lottery, then I'll buy an island. So in that case, I can use if. I cannot say whether I win the lottery, I'll buy an island. And the reason is, whenever you use whether, you need to have options. So let's look at some examples. I can say, for example, he is still thinking about whether he should go to the party. You can also say he's thinking about or he hasn't decided whether he's going to the party. Now we cannot interchange, we cannot substitute rather, we cannot take out whether and use if in that situation. Why? Two rules. Whenever we use whether, we use whether after a preposition. So, like I said before, he's still thinking about whether he should go to the party. So the preposition is about. You can also check episode 5 where we'll talk a little bit more about prepositions in case you might forget what they are. Now, jumping back into the other example. He hasn't decided whether to go to the party. So in that case, we're using whether before an infinitive. So he hasn't decided whether to go to the party. So there are two rules. We need to use whether before the infinitive or after a preposition. We cannot interchange if and whether as we choose to, okay? So commonly we would say, oh, he's still thinking about if he should go to the party. That is incorrect. So we use if when there is a conditional. Like I mentioned before, if I win the lottery, I'll definitely buy an island. I hope this was helpful. See you next in episode 6 where we'll talk a little bit more about our daily dose of English. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell so you can always get updates every time I post new videos. I hope this was helpful.